PBO game of the week, we have going for the Frederick Clef Keys on the left hand side in the top right is Alabama Alakazans. I'm joined with Aiden. Say hello. What's up? It's been a while since you last seen him. He's got a mic now. Mr. Don, say hello. First time in the booth. Hello, everybody. I am excited for this matchup. <laughs> Go. Go, I meant to them at the big meeting. Okay, so enthusiastic go I've ever seen. Just go. So again. first thoughts. Um yes, Illumise, or not Illumise, it's Volbeat. I know Always what it is. Volbeat. Um, Come on now. <clears throat> Volbeat actually is like really good in this game. It Stonewall's Tusk and Ogre Pond, which are like really threatening otherwise to uh to Ben. And <clears throat> the Sinistra also kind of beats Tusk and Ogre Pond. So, like, most of uh, Klefki's biggest threats are just kind of defensively stonewalled by a lot of um, the Alabama's team. The the Dio is the main big threat, and the Crocolore looks like it's mostly there just to stop the Chiyu from having uh, free flamethrowers. Agent 007 in the <laughs> Constellation. That's a nice, nice little name. The okay. Jirachi. So... Straight grass type. If I'm steel Klefkies, I am not staying in here. Oh, hey, big okay. U-turn. Nope, there's the U-turn. That U-turn tells me he's probably scarfed. Can Jirachi set up at all with cause? Can Jirachi set up with anything like combine cosmic power, um, anything like it, that? It, it, it gets it gets cosmic power, but like it doesn't want to because Tusk can come out and still to it KO it. Um, Procolor is unaware. Yeah, it doesn't give many setup opportunities. It's kind of just a <clears throat> scarf threat that can do damage with Serene Gaze flinches and make you want to rage quit the game. Right. So my big thing here is <clears throat> if that Chi was scarf, like I'm hoping it is, uh, Alabama is going to want to be getting it in as much as possible, um, which is why this move to Crocolore is probably best straight to Chi. That's interesting. That Not tells me it's probably a, a dark pulse incoming, or he's just gonna click overheat and say, "Fuck it, we ball." I say, "Fuck it, we ball." <clears throat> because unaware, yeah, dark pulse unaware actually. does mean the overheats are gonna gonna be doing crazy damage, which, which I didn't even think about before. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that either. <laughs> uh oh, I know where it's actually detrimental. What the hell? Yeah, this is like the freest overheat of his life. It just claims a victim here. Actually, maybe not. Like, like so Crocolor will eat one overheat, right? And then he can make a switch to, like, Torn T, which will still take, like, 75, probably. But it lives, I guess. That's all that matters. It lives. Yeah, it lives for a little while longer. And even then, once this thing gets chipped and is forced to switch out, flamethrowers are completely free again. Aiden, what was your uh, prediction in this? Uh, Remember? If it's either like 55 45 in favor of orange or 50 40. Well, there's the dark pulse and the slack. Okay, okay. Dark pulse. interesting. Where, where, okay, so it's I'm not really, I feel like not terraing is a better play. That is specs damage for sure. Well, uh, is it scarf damage? You, potentially? No, that is definitely, I don't think that's here. I can check scarf. He's gonna Scarf guess says it right Pulse here. Is not doing that much. Eject button, think it. Uh, okay, hold on. We're, oh, we're, yeah, getting, we're right. getting in position. Oh. But then that looked like. Yeah, no, it's Jack definitely specs damage. House. Yeah, that does seem like specs damage. That seems strange to me. I feel like specs is just overkill. But yeah, free Sinistra. Oh, crit. That crit is actually kind of massive. Also, that. Is either like a really offensive tusk or Alabama's didn't run Max Fizdef Sinistra, which I kind of doubt because he says he thinks it should always be Fizdef for the most part. So I think it's just like really strong. I think it's definitely tusk. an offensive tusk. Let's see, what is Max attack? <clears throat> also, going Adamant. hard Sinistra, I'm not sure was the move. I feel like Volbeat was a lot safer there. Crit. Does he just knock so off again here, right? Max Guaranteed. He's probably yeah. gonna knock off again. It's probably gonna do like thirty something to to, to Volbeat. So then you can roost oh, or encore is probably item. better. You encore into roost into U-turn or <clears throat> I don't know. Here's the thing: that knock with yeah, that was like min literal min roll uh crit 
for <laughs> max attack adamant but if it's not adamant then that's like in the middle somewhere which i don't think it's adamant but i mean obviously we don't know sets so um yeah mike halk says assuming that's fizz def sinistra with crit crit max attack does 91.3 min so that's like yeah. not actually that offensive that's roughly what I was saying, too. No, it's, it's, no, it's just not max attack, or it's like boosting. Item. How much is it without that? Okay, so yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying now. So this is like, a uh, sad uh, now. Adamant. Not necessarily, um, because it can get it in in front of Crocolor and clip that Macha Gacha and get a lot of HP back. Um, yeah, it does that. Yeah, Sinistra is definitely still worth keeping around, either I as agree. a sack later on, or as a potential way to get health back on something that's slower. So essentially, just the fairy oh, headlong oh, rush oh, anyway. I don't think that that was definitely not the move. Ooh, uh, he was guessing the double knockoff, and that would have been crazy <laughs> if, he, if he actually got him. But he just went straight up for it. Yeah. Well, better. now now he gets um. Well, because here's another thing: the you, only right? thing that resists comes in now. The only thing that resisted a, a um, flamethrower, yeah. The only thing that resisted a headlong rush anyway was Volbeat, which mm -hmm. I think still took like a decent bit. A ton. Considering <laughs> this is most likely Definitely. offensive tusk. I so... disagree wholeheartedly. Volbeat in this matchup is almost one hundred percent physically defensive, right? So you run it like that. We're running, we're running Volbeat like that. That tusk it takes it takes like twenty six percent. Physically defensive full beat, that'd be crazy. I mean, if we're being honest, how else can you run it? Like, it, it does not have the offensive stats to get anything else going. It has Prankster with a decent move pool. Um, it doesn't need the attack investment to have a few turns be staying things. It's it's a legit mod. Even, even max HP, max defense, Volby, uh, like Impish, takes 38% from Headlong, from mm. Tusk. Are we looking at the so, same Tusk spread as before? The Adamant no attack investment? I was never looking at that. I was looking at. <laughs> that was still, how crit, I was looking that was at max attack. Well, I, I'm assuming it was Adamant no attack investment because crit did 75. That was the new I'm going the max attack set. Jolly. Uh. Orange wasn't Either kidding way. when he said he was going to take 15 seconds or longer to make well, these then moves. By, then by that metric, it's taking... Um... Oh, you know what you're doing? You are you have booster energy on, don't you? Mm, no. One miss, 50 oh. bucks. Flamethrower comes in, gets well, killed! Yep. It, it, it's definitely specs. I think Scarf does like 75 to that. I, if I, I had the crit modifier still on. That's what I did. That's what happens. Yeah, Volbeat is like a really, really good Tusk check. Wow, did not realize that he would just go straight torn T and into a flamethrower. One is 50 bucks. <clears throat> well, it, yeah. Like did Dark Pulse kill? Two. Mm. Dark Pulse definitely killed Torn. Or maybe not. It. Okay, if it's Specs, I think it does. Because if, if Scarf does like 75, if I'm remembering correctly, then that means Dark Pulse would be doing like marginally less. Dark Pulse would be doing like. That Torn like 80. was also not okay. that spedef at all. Yeah, for sure. Um, it was probably boots for the for the Dawn fan purposes. Nomen? Probably. When I mocked for this, I ran Shuka just for this, and he's probably for that. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay, so Two doubles. he scouted for the Shuka, but that could have been really dangerous because if I'm uh if I'm Ben, I'm probably clicking uh Volt Switch there. Ooh, um, rocks in the Dawn fan. Tinkaton often gives uh like it gives Ben's team a lot of free uh pivot moves. And then that just lets Chiyu come in and pick up another kill. Knock off, okay, humble. Rapid spin, okay. Rapid spin. Spin. There's also no more torn for EQ, so this Don Pan looks a lot stronger right now. It can't really beat Tusk realistically. There is um, still Overpawn too. Yeah, but if he, if he gets another spin. Actually, no, wait, yeah, the Overpawn is most likely Scarfed. There it is. Interesting. Knockoff crit. Now it's oh, knock another off. knock. Another knockoff crit. Unfortunate. Um. Okay. Thing is, I don't think this dolphin even outspeeds. Always outspeeds. Yeah. This. Yeah. Always outspeeds this still. But now, unless, unless he did actually maybe he maybe not, um, because he might not have speed prepped uh, for this specific scenario. 
because um if it is max speed ogre pond it only barely outspeeds i also don't think dawn fan though was max speed but uh... probably not died anything so if i'm uh, okay, no, power fucking for knock sure. knock off. that knockoff did a lot of damage but it's still fine because now what happens is when this Volbeat gets a free U-turn, it does enough damage to kill uh, Ogre Pond, because I think it does like 50% if you're Impish. Um, you turn to Ogre Pond. 44 to 53. So it is a roll, but it's still his best move regardless. You know, even, if it, even if it doesn't kill, because he can just go to Rashi afterwards and then click his Scarf U-turn. <clears throat> like, if you look at a... At Alabama's team right now, you can just see that it, it's built around clicking those pivot moves to get Chi Yu in as much as possible, and that's the position he's in right now. If only Crocolore was not Terrad right now, <laughs> we would be right, in a great position. That, the Crocolore being Terrad makes the 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 Raging Bolt matchup that much worse. And while the Sinister was alive, it also made that worse. To be honest, I don't know why he Terrad the Crocolore so early. Fire still resists fire. Yeah. And, like, I don't see I don't why he tarried, because that makes the Raging Bolt just that much worse, and or better into the matchup, and yeah, it's just weird Terra from Orange, honestly. I think what happens here is Ben clicks U-turn, depending on, on what Orange does, the next time Chiyu comes in, it wants to click Overheat, right? Because that way, even if Crocor switches in, it's still going to die, I think, because it's at, what, like 60%? 80, oh, it's at 88%, so maybe it doesn't die. Maybe it doesn't. Um, let me find it out. So, full be how much? Yeah, he doesn't want to, but at the same yeah. time, Ooh. he might have to. Overheat. He might go. Might go. Think it's on. KO from full HP. Okay, or okay. pause. T wave. That's he's a... not. Here's, on. He's Here's another yes. thing, though. Like, if that ogre pawn speed creeps, the Chiyu, like. Because I'm assuming he crept the Scarf Chiyu on that Ogre Pond. That Ogre Pond still could potentially do some damage to that Chiyu, depending on the move. Probably Stomping Tantrum, and then... Okay, good Raging Bolt. Uh, now, it's a... now it's a 50-50 between Volt and Draco, right? It, it's Does he go Tusk, or does he go Tinkatone? Let me go Tinkatone here. Uh, but that's... Just that's click Slack Off. Potentially not great. No, you don't click Slack Off here. <clears throat> oh, he's taking a ton. It goes Draco. Oh, okay. oh, he got it right. Definitely. He got it right. If he put their Chiu comes back in and picks up a kill. He did get it right. Doubles down the top. A lot of Pause. doubles. Don Fan, Dawn hold on. Fan. Okay. A lot of doubles from these players. We don't see this too often. Potentially an ice spinner. You don't see this too often, folks. I'm, I'm not sure if ice spinner. Maybe it is. I could be wrong. Okay, Ogre, Ogre Pond, Pond into Volbeat. Jesus. From both sides. Another U-turn incoming here. If he decides to even do that, he might, I, he I, might I go bet. for T-Wave. True. I bet um, <clears throat> what we're going to see here is probably a U-turn into the Crocolor back into the Great Neck, and then we're just going to have the same sequence again. Great Neck, chill. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going for T-Wave. I think... I think <laughs> I think we might do the same kind of event. Could yeah, just, could just go Crocolore again, try to absorb the T-Wave. Yeah, because if it's T-Wave, it's likely not Encore. Um, because then your Encores come down to a bit of RNG if something already paralyzed. Like, if they get paralyzed on the turn, Encore ends, you can't re-Encore them. I can't <laughs> believe he went... He was in Crocolore. Yep, the Crocolore seismic, seismic toss. toss. Interesting. Does he not have U-Turn? He still might. He just might not have wanted to click it. He might have wanted to damage the chip on the croc. Hope for Back a para. The this turn. We pray to God for Slack no para. Incoming. Okay. Yeah. Yep. But now, now overheat comes out. He probably clicks slack off again to get the HP back, and then he. Well, nothing still takes a hit. You have to I hope you don't get paralyzed. I, I bet. I bet Tusk still dies to a minus two specs overheat. <laughs> you think so? Uh, if it's That's not. That's a lot. If it's not max HP. At minus two special attack, it does minimum 107. 
Dark Pulse does a lot. Oh, Para Flinch. On Forge. Oh, no. Okay. Well, here's the thing now. Now he uh, has. He can go Tusk if he wants, because that's actually. It'll take a lot, right? Don't get me wrong. Um, Dark Pulse. Okay. Actually, it's. <laughs> if it's no bulk, it's doing 66. So. Maybe I'm wrong. Tinkaton definitely is to a KO. <clears throat> Orange really. Like everything is either O code or two code. Yeah, the, a kill is incoming here. Unless yeah. the uh, you hit. Oh, actually, wait. Never mind. I'm stupid. I thought Chiu hit 300 speed, not 328. So yeah, Yeah, so I was wrong before. Uh, Modest Deoxys cannot outspeed Chiu. Char Scarf Chiu. But it's not Scarf, so... I know, I know. I was just amending my statement. At the yeah. So what can Deoxys do here, really? Is, is, it, is it late game? Uh, come in Drain Punch, it, or yeah, it, come it's in Super Power. It's definitely uh, late game clean. I feel like... Tough ask. It's gotta be, know. like, Super Power with special moves. Here's the thing, Enough though, investment like... to kill the Chiyu. Superpower then... doesn't actually do that much to Chiyu. Like, when I was mocking for this... My Chi was eating those superpowers. It, it was just like, switch into something, take a little bit of damage from the superpower to get the attack drop in, and then you just go Chi Yu and destroy things. How much was superpower doing? I think um, at one point it did like 49. Was it just no attack investment? I don't know, man. I also have. like... I, I I put everything into defense after speed creeping, so that was definitely. So it. here's another thing with this set that I'm looking at for the Chiyu, a superpower yeah. guarantees a kill with no attack investment whatsoever. It was it, it had used superpower a couple times before that, so it was like minus one or two. And yeah, and a superpower had, had like some bulk. The superpower definitely okos the fish as long as it's not like crazy defense invested, but I don't think it well, is it, able to in this matchup. I think I think the fact that it's specs means it very well could be. Right? I guess. Unless it's it, there's probably a good chance it's running uh, 301 speed just so it can outspeed a, uh, a tusk. Um, and Ogrepa. Actually, wait, no, never mind. Uh, it does fly. not outspeed Ogrepa. Yeah. I saw a round number and assumed it was the same as Tusk. This is definitely a very tough spot for Orange. Yeah. Dark Pulse does just pick something up. You have to pick something that you think is the least valuable. In my opinion, I think that thing is Tinkaton. Because I the way I see Tinkaton on this team is kind of like it's kind of a weakness, because if you get in the point where that great neck is in, and you're making those 50-50s between Tusk and Tinkaton, uh, it picks up the kill on Tusk right away, or you go Tinkaton on a Volt Switch, and then Chiyu comes in and grabs the kill, or even two. It just, it invites so many, oh, Crocolore goes yeah, down. Yeah, Sack and Croc. I mean, what else, what else can you do? And now, now flamethrowers are completely free. Or overheats or whatever it wants to go for. It's, is it he, he's, is that I, choice? He, he never has to click overheat anyway. It's definitely specs. To do that kind of damage to Croc Lord, it has to be. But, like, the thing is now... A lot okay. of doubles, not a lot of damage. That's all I'm seeing. Okay. All well, doubles, this, no damage. What this Volbeat wants now is to be slower than this Tinkaton, which it probably is. Or Hard Donkan, that's fine, too. Uh, th this is... I think Bamba comes away um, with a win here. I don't see. I, don't I, see. I do too. I, I I do too. I know. I know. Uh, Aiden, you gave it like 50-50 or like close to 50-50 odds. I disagree with that. Like just going into matchup, Chi Yu is just so insanely threatening here. Like Crocolore was supposed to be his Chi Yu stop, and we saw what happened. It got to a KO. I mean, I'm still not counting Orange out. This is. It's still winnable for sure. He just has to play it very, very right. Hey. <laughs> Perfectly. Let's the see only, Ogre Pawn. The only thing that can happen now is the that Deoxys spin. pulls off an actual miracle. But even that <laughs> Deoxys cannot Oko that that great neck. That Melman is coming back in and it is going to eat a hit from the Deoxys. Chip after <clears> chip <throat> after chip without the I mean this is just Yeah. A lot a lot of doubles, no damage. Very strongly 
is very strongly in Ben's control. There you go. Play rough coming out, and now it's a free EQ, right? Tusk can come in, I guess, but like then you just go Bullbeat again and click the roost. You're asking a lot from the your Deoxys speed right now. Yeah. Unless Ben just fucks this up, like. I feel like looking at the team, that's kind of the game plan from the start. Like, there's not a whole lot that the other things are able to do offensively without that Deoxys speed coming in to clean up. Like, Tusk and Ogre Pond, the fact that those are two of the most threatening mons around in, like, the general, like, draft metas, and that the fact that they're both stopped by a Volbeat is crazy to me. But it's working. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rocks up. I don't know why we keep doing Rocks this. Into spin. See now now what happens is Ben can click spin again in case he wants to go Ogre Pond again. Um, which means the tusk is more likely. So he might even double out to be here to cover both options. <clears throat> why but, but why why does he want rocks up so bad? For the Chi Yu because Chi he knows it's not boots. Um, he thinks if he can, uh, like, put some pressure on it, or maybe he needs a little bit of chip on it for Dio Speed to pick up the kill. Um, it could be things like that. <laughs> that's all I have to say, yeah. For sure. Yeah, you're right. That's just chi, chi, chi chip right now. I'm raging Bolt chip. I don't think Bolt's is boots either. So. I, I think... So, I think we can rule out the idea that the Raging Bolt is Shuka based on the way it was played around the, uh, the Tusk. Which means I know... Alabama's really, really likes running AV Bolt, and I think he might do it again just to Yeah, AV Bolt is really nice. <laughs> <clears throat> but, like, honestly, physically defensive CM also looks decent into this team, so we could have done that to cover the Spadef part, but I don't know for sure. We need two minutes so far. Does this match reach 40? I don't think so. There's no way. Not this, not at this stage of the game. This match yeah, will I end think, before turn 50, for is, sure. <laughs> definitely. Like, it's, it's because like with Mons like this on the field, it's just a slugfest. Like, honestly, I'm surprised it's lasted till turn 28. Would you call this a slugfest? How these players are. This is a slow burn for me. This is a okay, very no, I, slow I, burn. I, okay. I mean... It's it's a slow burn because they're taking a long time for their. I mean, like in a matchup like this, it should be a slugfest with like Chi coming be, in and yeah. taking lives. Same with Tusk coming in. <clears throat> so how impactful was losing Torrenty that early on? <laughs> Just to one little Chi thing. I, I, I mean, don't, I, think, I don't think it is very impactful. I think it's Especially potentially I, a switch into Don Fan can help deal with Volby. I think those are the only two things that it really yeah, does it, well. <clears throat> yeah, the only thing it does it, it does threaten out Volby well. But it doesn't even kill Don Fan with Grass Knots, and Don Fan it can just hit it really hard with Ice Spinner. It doesn't kill it, but it, it's forcing 50-50s with EQ and Ice Spinner, and it just it's it's uncomfortable for both of them. Do you know any part of what Torn T was meant to be for? Um, Probably really. those two mons, honestly. I think it was I, literally like, just for those. So like I, I mocked him for this, and, and Torn okay, never really rocks. did anything. Oh my god, dude. I'm going crazy. Okay, took five minutes for that turn to happen. Oh. And now, now Don Pan's at plus two, so it definitely outspeeds the Ogre Pond now. So now I what happens? lose to this thing. <laughs> Don Pan might actually, just... Okay, the fact that Tinkerton actually outsped the at plus one. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. Well, uh, well, hold <laughs> okay. on. Okay, choke so from, from Alabama. Uh, I, don't think it, I don't think it's game ending. Yeah, um, but I mean... it's definitely a misplay. Because now, now you still can't stealth rock, now, and you can't recover anything, so... Yeah, because like you, you can. What's most likely happening this turn is Tusk is coming in. So if I'm Alabama's, I'm I'm just going hard full beat. Uh, I don't. So this Donovan would have to get up to plus six to outspeed the, the deal speed. Yeah, I'm not even sure. What I, actually, I think <laughs> it might outspeed it then. Or uh, plus it five. Depends. Plus five plus six. Okay, now now I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> Don fan. All right, Don Fan at plus six. No speed. Hits 544, so yes, it does. Oh, my God. Why are we... Okay, so... 
I don't know. I don't. I don't. I. Oh wait, I know why. He's so he wants to keep rocked off so much. Okay, I didn't even notice this. Um, it's for the Volby because it's it it's. I thought it would be boots, but it was leftovers. But either way, it got knocked off. Um, we this thing this thing outspeeds the deal speed. speed. Yes, this thing outspeeds. Does it? I think so. Um, it might not. It, it he might switches not. out. It, I think he. <coughs> hold on. If it were no speed. Okay, were that's no, okay, actually kind of huge, depending on the move set. Yeah, depending on the move set. This also means it's not. It's probably not super. It, it could be superpower, but it could just be focus blast now. <coughs> I still think uh, Donphin outsped <laughs> at plus five, and we switch out. Um, so like no speed investment. And we go play the Donphin. Oh, stole a shuka. So me, 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 that me. would require I'll fall asleep. Uh, almost no speed investment into a timid Dio. I think. I'm only dogging on him because I know him so well. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of falling asleep with this match. Four seventy. 476. Yeah, it would require a 152 speed investment. Oh no, I got disconnected. Whatever will I do? Oh no. I'm back. I mean, now we know Jirachi <laughs> was Shuka. It's good to know. Okay, so that was his Shuka. Interesting. So Bolt is probably AV. Oh! Like, here we go again. <sighs> Never thought we'd see a game where someone runs out of rapid spin PP. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. That would be this game for sure. Um, well, this is like a relatively free psychic move, right? Also, the fact that the Dio is like, has lost its power herb and has used up its its one-time boost is really big. Yeah, yeah that is that is kind of huge. Like, <clears throat> the fact now it's going to really struggle in picking up any kind of an endgame now. Like, I bet Chi Yu probably lives. Mm, not all hits. It lives some hits. If it's superpower, it's probably still fine. Like, mixed is still perfectly viable. Um, but it's tough. Has all of the damage done to the Tinkaton been from Rapid Spin? Uh, uh, it's just about, I believe. Really dang close. <laughs> There's the U turn. Okay, that it. Into Dawn fan. Nothing. Knock also, off. Knock, knock off is interesting. Uh, yeah, and Dur I mean, it's the only super effective move he had for the Jirachi, so I mean, whatever. Sure, but like at the same time. Uh, we know he he's not going into Moment or Chiyu, probably. See, yeah, he, he just really wants these rocks off so he can. Um, okay, switch into Volby and Chiyu. Yeah, for Volby to round. Um, <clears throat> but the thing is, he, it uh, that that game is not in Orange's favor right now because this uh, this Tinkaton has no recovery; it doesn't have leftovers, and it's really being punished for it here. I wonder how many turns of the game that these two and are. play that rough really misses. Play rough <laughs> miss. I'm not sure that actually matters that much. Oh my god, we have one more Okay, well now, this. now he doesn't need to rapid spin. Maybe he does. Just rapid spin so you he can not speed the ogre spin. He might already do it. I uh, plus two, I don't think no, this yeah, no, fan. he definitely doesn't. Never mind. There's one more spin in there. He then he outspeed the, yeah, the one tusk. more I think that's it. He needs Three one more, more to outspeed actually, the actually, rest one, of the team. One more doesn't even guarantee to outspeed the ogre, which is really funny. It sucks that rocks can't stay up. I just, I mean, thirty I mean, minutes for like forty that, turns. Man. This is crazy. How many yeah. minutes? Thirty. Thirty. Oh my lord! You know, Orange did <laughs> tell us going into this he was going to take fifteen a long seconds, time for every but turn. fifteen seconds per turn. <laughs> but that was fifteen least. minutes. <laughs> There's the earthquake. Eats the sugar. The sugar. <laughs> Huge sugar. Pickpocket coming. Oh out. my god. I'm like, come on, bro. What are we doing here? I would have just rabbit spin. I don't see why we go or EQ. Uh -huh. I agree, but at the same time, um, I'm not sure it really mattered. 
Because now, now that rocks are off, even if Ogrebond does free full beat. Unless, like, I don't know. What's the strongest neutral move you can hit him with? Like, play rough? I think so. Or Gigaton. Either or. What? Oh, I meant but the Gigaton's not sustainable. I meant, uh, I meant the Oh. Uh, uh, probably just high horsepower, honestly, just because it's. That's not neutral. That, that, that's resisted. Onto what? The Dawn Fan? I'm talking about the Volbeat. Oh. <clears throat> like, if he goes Volbeat, right? The strongest neutral move. Overpowering can hit it with his play rock, I think. So Tuscout speeds never. What are we doing? Oh, did he? Did bro, he go this, the bro, this is. We're okay. ju we're switching out and just taking chip every time. <clears throat> orange. I don't think how many. I think Moose has orange done. Orange, okay, that okay. hasn't been okay, a no, stealth okay. rock. What has he been doing this he, whole he, game? He, here's here's the thing. Here, I, I think I get that. that just not kill. Wow. <laughs> I don't understand. The game is over. Now, I don't get it. <laughs> he, 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 here here's the thing. Okay. Oh, so so that, that's like that's probably that's definitely AB done. Oh, no, sorry, it's not AB. It was leftovers and got off. Um. It's just a really bulky Don fan, but yeah, now now just I like, don't, I don't wins the game, get it. right? Because he can just encore Tuscan, whatever. What does Ben like, have okay. to gain he, from he, switching? He, he, he's gonna thing. stay in and do damage. He doesn't care. Why are we yeah, doubling out? Thing. But Orange, the Orange, the only way he could win that match or from that situation was to play incredibly proactively and make those calls. And so he kind of has to make those kinds of plays. Not that exact play necessarily, but. He has to make those kinds of plays if he has to want, if he wants to have any kind of chance of staying in it. He can't be playing safe. On the other hand, Ben in this position should be playing safe. He has this game in the bag as long as he doesn't choke. I don't. I don't, I don't even know if there's a way he can. Yeah, choke. I don't. I don't. Not, okay, <laughs> not not at this point because like yeah. Now, now he just like. Click seismic toss. He's, he's gonna, he he's, gonna ogre pond. he's gonna T wave yeah. your ogre pond. And he's gonna T wave your great tusk, and then he's gonna bring in well, Chiyu. Well, first of all, T wave can't hit great tusk because ground, ground type. type. Oh Second my god. All, seismic toss just kills, and yeah, it can just roost off on the great the tusk. Um, yep, it can roost. Oh, but it's not even on for though. It's T wave. What if it does so it both? Can't on for the tusk. Tusk, um, if tusk has the, actually coverage, <clears> then yeah, actually, theoretically. But then it just takes a gajillion from overheat. But it, if, if, it, if it has spin and then like stone edge for the last move, theoretically it can win. Potentially. I like would, if it clicks I, spin here, click spin into stone edge, it can beat everything else on the team. Just has to <clears> not <throat> miss a stone edge. Oh, he it's bulk up. Okay, well. So yeah, he lost. <clears throat> Unless. Because um, like he only needs stone edge for this, so if he can. It's the encore. Encore. So I... no U-turn. Interesting call. But yeah, the game is definitely over now. Okay. T-Wave Encore is a wild call, but I guess it paid off. Volbeat with two kills, by the way. So I, I want someone from the oh, comments to go back and, and tell us how many attack moves did Orange actually do? How many moves he actually um, that I were attacking? Actually. And how many? Yeah, he probably uh, could count. One, two, three, four. <laughs> out, of, out of 50 five, turns? Six. Out of how many turns or attacking? Nine. 11, 13. 13. 13 out of 52 turns. Bye, everybody.